now. I don't, I don't want to start things um, on the wrong foot, but I can't help but notice you're not wearing a turtleneck. Mm. Can you explain why? Oh, not not for book clubs. For book, it depends on the level of the book club. I went over to an Oxbridge book club. I'm a member of the Oxbridge book clubs, and yeah, sure. Turtle we're all a member of the Oxbridge no, book club. I left. We're all. We put you left. Yeah. I would wear one there, you know, on a weekend and the uh, over the course of the. That's the but problem. You'd, this, you'd wear one. I'd wear no. one. Yeah, you need to wear. You need to. What you need to do is you need to commit, and you need to wear four on a day that's twenty degrees, and also one that just sort of detaches. This has a detachable, but it's at the dry cleaners. You dry clean that. Yeah. No, you, yeah. that's. What do you, how do you? Cl- how are you cleaning yours? With books. You know mm. what? I've asked you to, to describe your events, and then I've just okay. I've been very aggressive, and I'm aware of that. And I'm You've very been sorry. very aggressive. It, there's a lot of this in the literary world. There's a lot of aggression towards me. I know. Me. It's because we're all because of the steroid problem that we're all. It's because of the steroids. <laughs> yeah. I get angry. Yeah. It's. And, but how else would you read a book that fast without it? I mean. How can you read a book in one sitting? If you're not pumping the roids, uh, yet yeah, Wycove uh, has just said it's I'm wearing turtlenecks to hide the roid marks. I'd like to make it very clear that I don't mm. take roids through my neck. Let's say the book together. Three, two, one. Three. The boy two, with one. The, the boy with the crimes. Crime. The boy with the crimes. Yeah. 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 The boy. Yeah. I, the boy with the crimes. I loved it. The author. Who was the author? Please. Um, John uh, Cumberbatch. John Cumberbatch, of course. Now I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share my screen. We're just gonna um, Google uh, John Cumberbatch. Uh, let me just Google that. Hang on a second. I'll read a short passage, if I may. <clears throat> yeah, a short passage would be good. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Arthur hadn't even done that many crimes before, so it was really out of order that the police were whacking him like that with a stick he said you don't know who my dad is my dad is a rich man ma- rich man my dad is a rich man he lives in richmond i think that's what that means oh, is that what that means i thought yes. he was oh okay he lives in rich he's a rich man he's very poor <laughs> he'll, he'll take care of this he could kill all he use with one punch and the copper said Shut up, you piece of trash. Um, if, you, if you don't mind, I'm just going to read a short up excerpt from my favourite section. Please it's, it's, do. Just, it's just a few sentences. His dad, um, his dad texts him. I wish you'd come back from Mars, he said. Because the light speed has actually meant that you've done more crimes. Now that, I thought... I. I didn't quite understand um, which which character did you connect with most? I'd say the uh, his cousin, his Reginald. cousin, the one Reginald, who is part alien, which I don't even want to get into. Yeah, and only half of his bottom half, which I find like only even if, half. like so as only but, half of his bottom half. Yeah, the quarter. Yeah, yeah, like Wellies, the <laughs> alien. Sorry, you might, have to, you might have to just expand on that. Like wellies. Like wellies, half of his bottom half. He's wearing and wellies. There's that, yeah, there's the chapter when it says he's he's legs like Wellington boots of a green alien lad. Sorry, I didn't I uh, I didn't see I didn't know wellies. I don't know what wellies are. Wellington boots, yeah. I understand now. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a north south. Okay, it's I'm North so south sure. and man woman and rich poor. Yeah. And rich poor. Yeah. 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 Uh, rich I really identified with the love interest, um, mm. s- the alien, uh, S- Sal- Selma. Selma, um, Sal- yeah. Selma. Selma. Or Selma, I suppose it depends. Selma. Sel- Sel- Selma. Sel- Selma. She was a shopkeeper, obviously, on the on Mars. And the way that she... I just felt like it was a really real relationship and I see very, see very little real relationships where I'm like, yes, they would get off with each other. It would get off. Bill Al, should this go into the literary canon? If you don't know what literary canon is, don't worry, it's just um, it's like a list of books that are seen to be appropriately mm. literary and then you just put them in a canon and then they fire them into the British Library. 
it, it, I, I didn't, I, I don't agree with any, I, I think there was a lot of spelling mistakes. It's interesting you didn't bring that up earlier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. I don't. I didn't. I didn't notice any. But that's because I was quite uh, pumped, if you know what I mean, while I was reading it. Um, so I might have just sort of zoomed through the spelling mistakes. Yeah. I feel like I would have caught it. Give me an example of of a spelling mistake that I I don't understand. Okay. So the whole thing about Mars and then the rocket ship. Yeah. That was all. That was all spelt wrong. Mars was spelled M A apostrophe S, wasn't it? So at some point you didn't know where, if he'd gone to his mother's, yeah. or he'd gone to the Mars, planet Mars. Mars was spelled M A R S E. That was in the chapter with the kiss. So I don't know if that was meant to be um, a metaphor, um, erotic uh, for the reader. Because well, certainly made me feel, if I may be so bold, uh, when it said Mars, I certainly had to put the book down and go for a run. Yes, it's the it's the addition of the e, and also, you know, it sounds like you know. It sounds boob. like I mean, um, so it that does. it sort of toyed with eroticism without going going all in, if you know what I mean. Mm. I think just say the words, you know, just say um, breast, just say breast, just say uh, pecker, you know, <laughs> just say the words. Pecker, in my opinion, <laughs> yeah. just say it. Just, Rather than you know, saying. Rather than putting an E on the end of the planet Mars, just say Pekka. I think that's... Just say... Just say it. His, his Pekka was in his trousers. Just say it. <laughs> I, I think more writers do need to just say it rather than putting the letter E on the end of yeah. nouns. We that, know it was in his trousers. You know, yeah. just say it for heaven's yeah. sake. The, the E was there, so it was yeah. clear that... The breast was in the room. Just say it. Yeah, the, it's like the elephant in the room, but the elephant's yeah. got its knob out. That's yeah. I'm glad um, that you didn't want to put it in the canon because I was gonna, I was gonna argue that I, I don't think it, it, it should go in there either. I really don't. I think that the fact that you had to read the book twice because he went back to being a four-year-old and mm-hmm. to read his entire story again, I found that very tedious. I, I didn't find the the. I actually didn't notice the the e on the end of the Mars, meaning that his pecker was in his trousers. So it's really great to hear from you. It's really great to get that perspective from you and um, make sure that you do finish that that book uh, can you give us a sneak or can you give us a sneak preview of of what the book is about my book oh yeah like a little my book yeah we, we all want to hear okay. we all want to hear okay so it's set in uh world war ii uh as they as known the great second world war as is and churchill is just having a nightmare of a day he cannot choose what to wear you know churchill mm. And he's saying, you know, it's a lot because it's it's quite it's like a satire to take on today's cancel culture generation. And Churchill's saying, well, if it was TikTok, then it would be banned. And it'd be great, guys, if um, one day we're here discussing. We I mean, didn't actually ever say the title of the book, so what's it called again? Um, <laughs> it's called uh, Churchill defending Londonistan. That that's your TikTok satire. Well wouldn't it be great that's... if one day we're reading defending Church, Churchill defending London Londonistan. Yeah. It's wouldn't... a very racist title. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say anything, but yeah. Uh but again, all voices, all we need more racists in the literary world. Please don't clip that. <laughs> but thank you everybody I really appreciate you, you being here it's really really lovely and please do um, go and just inject a little bit of academia in literariness into Bilal's uh, what do you call them? streams R- river streams um, that he river does streams. something to do with uh, football um, and acting school for excellence um, at Zephyr Cakes um, I'm just going to I'm just going to read I'm just going to play us out here with them um, a little section from a book I found, genuinely found the other day, which is, uh, it's from the uh, 1900s and it's called Cookery Illustrated and Household Management. And I think Mm. we can all agree that when you make an orange salad, you pair three oranges or oranges with a knife so that all the outside white skin is cut off with the peel. Thank you so much. And, um, See you next week, guys.